Okay, today I'm going to talk about, um, it's called phishing scams. They're trying to get your, their, your password or uh, otherwise compromise your information. So here's one, just to show you an example of how you can tell something when it's not legitimate, because that's what you need to look for. Here's an email I got that says it's from the Internal Revenue Service. Notice of underreported income. And then you open that up. Okay, and you notice there's a, um, it says, please review your tax statement on Internal Revenue Service website. So they want you to click here to go see what this is. It's a fraud application. Now, the way you tell that this is not legit and not from the IRS, because if you look at the email address it came from, it says no reply irs.gov. So you would think, okay, you know, um, if you hover over, the URL they want you to click on, most mail programs will show you what the actual URL is that you're clicking on. And if you look at this, it, they're trying to fool you because at the beginning it says uh, www.irs.gov, but notice after that there's a .hyu11heu.eu. So it's a European domain that this thing is going to with some kind of weird thing. So definitely you would not click on this. Now, um, another way to inspect these things is if you look at uh, the long headers, and some programs let you do this, and this will kind of tell you where it was sent from. Uh, you have to look through here sometimes. See, this is what filtered it. See, it actually came from a railtrans.com. Um, is, is the return pass. So that's really where it came from. Um, and again, they put up here that it was from irs.gov, thinking that you would be fooled. And I have lots of examples of this, but I just wanted to get one up so I could start, you know, I would hate for people to fall for this and, and give all their information and financial information and everything. It would be terrible. So anyway, that's it.